Hello friends, now this is class number 59, now we are on a very important um, locality in English grammar that is persons. Now the knowledge of this, the idea of persons, you know, you know persons in the world, real world, there are many persons here, in the class there are 30, 40 persons there, person, human beings, that's what we understand. Now in grammar, you have got only three persons. Understand that? We call it first person, second person, and third person, you know. Now, this is very important. I think one of the most important concepts that you should understand. Because all the entire tense system, you know, tense system in English, it is actually all the tenses dance according to the tunes played by the persons. First person, second person, third person, and also you have got singular and plural in that. So the idea of person, I already told you, one who speaks, well, if you want a definition like this, one who speaks is the first person. The listener is the second person. About whom you talk, that is the third person. But this is not fixed. Because I can be, now I am first person. Okay. Now suppose you stand up and speak, then I will become second person, you will become first person. Suppose you talk about these friends of yours, they will become third person. So one of them stand and speak about we both, then we will become third person and the listeners will become second person. <laughs> you understand that? Now see, look at this. Suppose here is, uh, you have a person like that here. Yeah. Say you have um, um, Vishnu. Okay. Vishnu. Now Vishnu is speaking to, to Keshu. Okay. In this case. And there are people like here, you have got a uh, you have got Ashok, Prasad, and then uh, you have uh, some other things like Sest uh, Window, hmm? then Furniture, and so on. So, but many things in the world, all the things in the world. Now, when Vishnu speaks to Keshu, in this situation, this is I, first person. And this is you, second person. He is speaking, you know, speaking. So, the speaking person, one who is speaking, is first person. Listening person, listening person is second person. Now, Vishnu is speaking to Keshu about this people. About this people. And then, they will become third person third person or if it is a male it will be he female she uh, neutral it and if it is plural they here plural will be we here plural will be you plural means Keshu and friends, and friends, and his friends. Here Vishnu and Vishnu and and his friends. Then there is a V, V. Understand? So this. But the thing is that suppose the other way around, Keshu speaks to Vishnu. Then Keshi will become first person and Vishnu will become second person. Suppose Ashwai speaks to Keshi, Ashwai will become first person, this will be second person. If Ashwai is speaking about Vishnu, Vishnu will be third person. You understand? See the color. This is what I say. It is not fixed. It depends on the context. Now, there is another way to remember this, a very simple way to remember this. And that very simple way is like this. You have 
things like that. Simple. There is a, forget about all these things. Only say, you can say, I, V. This is first verse. First verse. Whenever you use I, that is first person singular. Whenever you use V, that is sec, first person pro. The word I, whoever uses I, he is the first person. And that is one, so it's the singular. Suppose V, whoever uses V, more than one, say, I, I, I stand with the, the boys there and then I say V. That means more than one. So then it is first person plural. Alright. So this is first person. This is single, singular. This is plural. Means more than one. And then you have whenever you use you, wherever you find you or you, that is either first person or so the second person singular or second person plural. That depends. So when I I talk only to that person, then you one. I address the whole class, you many. So then it is plural. Stand up, you sit down. I said, then that is singular. All the class please stand up. You sit down. Then it is plural. The thing is, it's the same word. Same word is used to a singular and plural depending on the context. All the other things in this world. So, except these four words, all the other things in this world, that is third person. Except these four words, all the other uh, starting points of sentences. Starting points, I, know, I told you there are only six. So, all the others. Remember that much. First, for example, if you say, uh, dusk, third person, bag, third person. Person means a human, not a human being also. Grammar the person is not human being. Can or can be a human being, but need not be human being. For example, dusk, bike, cat, dog, bill, touch, building, bill, river, floods, floods, rice, cooker, basket. Basketball, basketball, cricket, cricket, then a man, woman, John, Jane, Jim, Jack, fool, a wise man, wise man. World, world, country, India, America, China, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Australia, Australia, uh, then New Zealand, yeah, <laughs> Mexico. Mexico, Ireland, uh, Ireland, then you have got uh, Laila, Milan, Father, Mother, Sister, Brother, uh, Cousin, Leaf, Tree, Ground, Water, rice, jam, all the things are third person. It can be singular and plural. Also, depending on the gender, neutral, and then you have sorry, masculine, feminine, and neutral. Understand? For example, here, this is neutral, this is neutral, neutral, yes, neutral, uh, it is a neutral, neutral. A neutral, 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 
न्यूट्रल 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 मैन मास्कुलिन फेमिनिन मास्कुलिन 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 न्यूट्रल आह फुल ही तो ही और शी दैट कैन बी मास्कुलिन और फेमिनिन मैन कैन बी फुल उमन और शी कैन बी फुल लेस अमेरिका न्यूट्रल मेक्सिकन न्यूट्रल आयरन लाइला आह लाइला फेमिनिन मिलन फेमिनिन फादर मास्कुलिन मदर फेमिनिन सिस्टर फेमिनिन ब्रदर मास्कुलिन कसिन मास्कुलिन लीफ न्यूट्रल ट्री न्यूट्रल ग्राउंड न्यूट्रल वाटर न्यूट्रल लाइस मैन लाइक अलसन दे आर ऑल दैट पर्सन्स सो अगेन अ फॉर्मूला इज दैट आई वी यू एक्सेप्ट दिस all the other things are third persons. Very simple. Bird, third person. Table, third person. And the actress, third person for actress. Right? Uh, but third person, singular. Third person. Because it is not I, it's not we, not you. So that's the best way. But you should know this. You, know? you should, should go deep in your mind. What is first person? What is third person? What is third person? Singular, plural, also he, she, it and they. Why he, she, it and they? You remember that is, these are pronouns. For example, if it is masculine and you have to say instead of that, see, man is, man is rational and man is wise. So instead of repeating this, you will say he. He. That is pronoun. A masculine is he, like that woman. Suppose it is woman, then that will be she. Suppose it is uh, tree is tall. Tree is tall. Tree is tree is beautiful. So instead of repeating this, you can say it is. It is. Understand? And when they have got a plural, of course we say. Uh, women. If it is women, then they. If it is men, then they. Trees, then they. Trees, they. So that is how it is done. I think now it is clear. So what is number? What is? What do you mean by persons in grammar? So forget about all these things I have told you, explanations and things like that. Remember only this, simplifying, okay? Simplifying, because for the next class, this is very, very important. Otherwise, we will not be able to say why, or you will ask me why is it like this. So then I can give you an answer to this. If you have got this idea in your mind. So, persons in grammar, you can say like this, I, we. This is singular, this is plural. You call first person. You. Singular and plural. Singular and plural. Only one word. You call this second person. Second person. All the other things, third person. Or everything else, window, door, bulb, curtain, door curtain, ceiling, then bed, uh, the pillows, wash basin, water, everything is third person. Understand? But then what happens is, you have got to, in, when you speak about, say, using pronouns, you will say he for male, uh, she for female, it for neutral. And Plural will be they for all. They for all. Is there a man, man and woman? Then they will say. That is the pronoun. Understand? Man, he. Woman, she is the pronoun. Dog, it is the pronoun. So if you have got this idea, of course you will be uh, again and again you will be meeting these things, these three persons and their uh, 
numbers and gender, etc. So I think for the time being, to get you to get started, I think this much is enough. So we will be, from tomorrow onwards, we will start with that huge area in English grammar that is the beautiful area in English grammar and that is tenses which we started uh, I think that two period before now this is third I think this is the third class on tenses first I told we told you uh, I mean we are telling about this presence is the root I should say so the base from this only you can build up different tenses and the variations and things like that. The entire English grammar, I can say, this it revolves around these three persons. Because everything the three persons say, we will have to do according to that. Okay, then we will see from tomorrow, then things will become clearer to you. Understand? Okay, for the time being, bye. See you again. I think you are you we are following my classes and you are enjoying my classes. So then I will be very happy about it. See, otherwise, uh, I, otherwise also I will be happy in the sense that I am doing some work for you. No, okay. So see you again. Have a nice time. Enjoy your life.